the Empress, Taurus energy, Ace of Cups, new love. What do we have for the collective? Seven of Cups, Five of Swords. I feel like if you resonate as a Divine Feminine, this could be your current situation or this is, could be future energy. So just apply it where it fits. If you know right now you're not dating anybody and you're single, you don't have a lot of options and you're not open to love, then this probably is not going to be the reading for you. But I feel like you're getting ready to have several options when it comes to new love. Several options. Like, I feel like you, you are definitely like the prize the star of the show, you're getting like a lot of attention here. And I feel like you're just, you know, trying different, different things. Maybe here, it looks like you're having a difficult choice on choosing who you want to say no to, who do you want to respond to? This could be you on a dating app. Some of y'all might be on a dating app. Uh, some of you all, you might have several exes, you know, the current energy for the collective collective has been like exes coming back and new love been, that's been coming back too. So, I mean, not coming back, but new love that's coming back around from another past life. That's what I've been seeing here, but let's keep moving. The Fool card, a new beginning, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. You guys have a new beginning. Um, and I feel like you, you really are working on something here that could be a project or you could be have just started a new job here <clears throat> or just working on a new project and i feel like you're having a lot of fun like a lot of fun knight of wands is exciting energy the fool card is adventure travel um taking a leap of faith having fun being free, free spirited you could be a divine feminine who is very free spirited and adventurous here Hmm. Some of y'all actually too may travel for work. Show me more here. Something shocking is getting ready to happen. The Scorpio Tower energy. Hmm. So this is telling me you may have something's going to shock you. Somebody's going to come towards you. It's going to shock you something very unexpected. So someone from the past that you may not have expected to come back into your life is getting ready to come back is what I'm getting here. And you might have to pick and choose between new or old. But let's see. That's what I'm getting here. What else do we have for the collective? Yeah, the past. I'm telling you, I don't know what this is about. Five of Cups is definitely something from the past. Show me more here. And this fell right on top. The devil fell right on top of the tower. Oh my goodness. Either this is not a good tower or you're dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Somebody here is toxic. This could be somebody toxic from the past. Let me clarify this tower. Somebody who was manipulative to you, a narcissist, somebody that has some toxic ways, some codependency issues, whatever it is. Clarify the tower card, please. What's this tower? Two of Cups. Yeah, okay. What's this tower? The High Priestess. Pisces energy. What's this tower? And the Lovers. Gemini energy. So this tower isn't good. Is it bad? The tower, you guys, is just something unexpected you're, you're about to fall in love with somebody or if this is somebody from the past you're this is somebody you were in love with a strong passionate connection the lovers and the two of cups is like i see why you're like dang what do i do what do i do let's see what this devil card is what's this devil energy seven of pentacles what's this devil energy this could be somebody that's been waiting and watching you, like watching you, stalking you, obsessing over you here, and they were waiting to communicate with you at the right time. I, I'm gonna, I still need to pull some more information, but the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, this is giving me somebody waiting to say something to you, and they, they could have, who, who is this person that wants to communicate with Divine Feminine? See what I'm saying? Somebody you can't trust. Four of Cups. 
Seven of Swords. This is somebody you can't trust. They've been, I feel like they've been, they have something to say to you, but yeah, I don't, I don't, or this could be somebody who's the thinks that you might reject them. What is this Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords? The wheel and the hierophant. Interesting. Now we have the high priestess and the hierophant out here. We have the two of cups and the lovers. <sighs> Let me see y'all. The hermit at the bottom of the deck. This could just be somebody who's like not saying anything, not communicating, being very strategic about when they're going to reveal themselves to you. Huh. Why am I getting this energy of like you moving on the wheel to bigger and better things? This is something from the divine. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to have it. I do. What's this page of wands? The sun card. So some news that's going to make you happy, or this could be a Leo trying to communicate. What's this? What's this page of wands? Yeah, it's an offer. Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So you do, I feel like there's somebody from the past that's in this Five of Cups energy, and they think you're going to reject them because you're moving on. This person definitely was toxic in the past, but I do feel like you have somebody that's new that's like obsessively watching you and waiting on the right time to say something and speak up. This person wants to offer you something very stable, okay? Starting with the Page of Pentacles, this is going to grow into the Ace of Pentacles. This is something long-term. The Hierophant with the High Priestess here, with the Lovers and the Two of Cups, this is a, this is a strong, high-level soulmate or a twin flame. And somebody, I feel like, is in some five of, five of Swords, Five of Wands energy over you choosing something new and, and deciding to be in this full energy, What's this Five of Cups? What's this Five of Cups? Yeah, this is somebody you had an ending with. A Death card, Scorpio energy, like I said. Well, yeah, this is somebody you had an awful ending with. Ten of Swords. You cannot trust this person. Yep. Let's move to a different deck. You guys hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notification bell is turned on to all. You have a new person and you have, you might have several new people, new people coming in, divine feminine. A lot of people see you as free spirited, like kind hearted, nurturing, very adventurous, a lot of fun to be around. They feel like you're a hard worker. I feel like you've done a lot to work on yourself with this eight of pentacles falling underneath the empress. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is, yeah, it's about work. It's about building, but it's also about being an aristocrat, like doing everything you can to work on yourself, right? And I feel like you've done that. You've done a lot of self-healing here, Ace of Cups and the Empress. I just feel like you've done so much work on yourself. You are like drawing in a bunch of people, okay? And that includes unhealed people who betrayed you from the past and new people i.e. a new twin flame or a high level soulmate here everybody wants you basically okay everybody wants you everybody thinks you're attractive knight of wands i feel like they're all gonna fall in love not now not everybody is the right choice not everybody is the right choice for you right that's what the seven of cups is about choosing the right choice all right, there goes that work card. So there's something going on at work here. You may meet somebody at work. There could be a new offer for a new job or an offer to travel. Mm. What else is for Divine Feminine? Gossip. There may be some work gossip happening behind your back right now. You might even know about it. If you're Divine Feminine, you know. You know who is who. Okay. If you were just recently offered a promotion, then people are going to be gossiping about how you got this promotion. They're going to be saying like, oh, well, how did Divine Feminine get this? Did they sleep with somebody or did they they only got this position or this promotion because of their looks or because of who they know? Like it's, it's giving that kind of energy. 
when that's not even why you got this position or you, why you are going to get this promotion or this oppor opportunity. The reason you're getting this opportunity, Divine Feminine, is literally because you're the best person for the job. Eight of Pentacles to, to, the, to the Empress. Show me more. Long distance. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's something travel related here. Somebody here could live at a distance in this situation. Past love. In the past, a past lover. You see what I'm saying? There's definitely a past lover here that you ended things with. This person is in deep regret over how they treated you. They were very toxic. You know, Ten of Swords, they definitely may have juggled you. They don't want to juggle you anymore or you drop them. You just drop, you drop the person who just, you know, because I don't even know why this Two of Pentacles is here in reverse. But the Ten of Swords is, an, is a heartbreaking ending. It's a betrayal. It can't get any worse than the Ten of Swords. Show me more. Yeah, this is you being that free spirit. Freedom. Literally, the full energy. Casual. Being single and lightness. Like, you are a hot commodity. Show me what else here. Ice queen and mature man. Older male. So some some of you all might be connecting with an older male here. There's an age difference. And then we have an ice queen, divorcee, mother, discernment. Mm, I wonder if you're this ice queen here. Listen, I feel like you know the gossip is happening behind your back and you're not saying anything. You're not even giving it any of your energy or attention. Considering this ice queen is falling underneath the gossip. Now, some of y'all may speak up and, and be stern with people and set boundaries with them or set the record straight. Some of y'all may feel like you need to set the, the record straight. Didn't I say twin flame? Y'all definitely could have a new person here. Spiritual alignment, effortless, twin flame, karmic. I feel like there's definitely a karmic here with this five of cups and this devil energy. I feel like you've already set boundaries with the karmic gifts you are the gift you are about to get a gift divine feminine show me more you're about to get a gift for real the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles Ooh, look what came out money 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 this says wealth luck and finances and that came out with the wheel of fortune, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you're about to get a gift. If you haven't already gotten a promotion, you're about to have a promotion or you're about to step into some form of abundance, some form of wealth. Your finances are getting ready to improve here. I feel like you're going to go from you did all this work on yourself and, and, and you're good at doing something here and things are just like picking up in your life and you're about to have a lot of attention on you, you know. A lot of suitors. There's a dark male. So one of these people could be darker than you. Someone could be older than you. This says spiritual growth, learning and expanding the soul. Who is this dark male? Who is this dark male? A, somebody from a past life. Or a past lover. Let me get one more card. Who is this dark male? A young man. Okay, somebody who's 40, they like to show off, they're a little bit younger. So you got a mature man here, and then we've got a younger man who is darker than you are. Hmm. This could be that person from the past. I'm telling y'all, y'all have several options. This person, this young male, this young male, if you know the person from the past, they were the ones who probably juggled you because this says open relationship, no commitment, casual and openness. Or if a young male that comes towards you, something about him that looks really good. He's like in this King of Wands energy. He drives a fancy car or he's got nice, he wears nice clothes or something, whatever this is, this person is not the person to commit to. This person doesn't want a commitment. They want an open relationship. They want a casual relationship. They may even just want to sleep with you. Let me see here. Who is this young male? Who is this young male here? Yeah, five of cups. That's the person from the past, okay? Now, it might not be the person from the past, but if you get with this person, I feel like this person's going to leave you, abandon you, 
and, and, and like leave you in your emotions and your feelings. Yeah, this person's gonna leave you out in the cold. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like somebody who's like asking for help. They fell in the river and this person is like about to drown and this person is the type of person who will save themselves. They're not gonna try to save you. They're gonna leave you there to drown. This person only cares about themselves. Regardless of whether or not they are a past person or somebody new that you don't know. Let's get some more information on him. Show me more about this young male. Ten of Cups. This young male may have a family. Show me more about this young male. Yeah, see what I'm saying? He may have a family already. He's the person who put you in this Ten of Swords energy. Now, if this is, is not the person who put you in this Ten of Swords energy, he is going to put his family in some form of Ten of Swords energy. It's not good. It's just really not good. Two tens, ten ten. You could be seeing ten ten quite a bit. Ace of Cups. You got new love coming in. I'm telling you. Show me this young male. Let me get one more on the young male. Who is this? Somebody. I just don't like this energy. Nine of Swords. I really. This this young male is fighting demons. This young male is fighting demons. Yeah. You, you you can't trust them. Who is this mature man? Ooh, the Empress. This mature man sees you as this true divine feminine. They see you for who you are inside and out. This is somebody who's going to value you. Wow. They see you as like just top tier, you know, top tier. Who is this mature man? Four of Cups, they may feel like you will reject them because there's something about you. You may get a lot of attention or they don't. There's something about this person, Justice card, Libra energy on the bottom of the deck. Show me more about who this mature man is. Uh oh, sorry, you guys. Who's this mature man? High Priestess, Pisces energy. We already saw the high priestess out here. Show, who is this mature man? What was that? The queen of swords. It didn't come out. Who is this mature man? Knight of cups with the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This is someone who I feel like is secretly going to watch you for a little while or they may not come come like this is not somebody who's going to like be like are you know like get <laughs> i know i'm sorry i sound like a pirate but this is not somebody here who's gonna like i feel like they're gonna have clear intention but they're gonna go slow they are someone here who's a romantic they're going to want to take their time with you to build with you right they're not gonna rush anything but i feel like this person may not express their emotions right away because I feel like they are afraid that you may reject them. Show me more. What else do we need to, need to know about this mature man? Two of Wands in reverse. What else do we need to know about this mature man? The Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And who is this Queen of Cups? The world. So this mature man could have recently had a breakup here. Two of Cups and the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. Good grief. Wow. Who is this Queen of Cups? A choice, a lover, a Gemini. This person could be a water sign or a Gemini. Who is this Queen of Cups? This is a Queen of Swords. There's two people here. There's two people here. And there's an indication of a choice. What's this two of wands in reverse? Somebody made the wrong choice here. Hmm. There's a lot of hostility here. I feel like this masculine, this older masculine had some hostile something with one of these females here. And I feel like it could be this queen of cups. Uh, what's this lover's energy? The Queen of Pentacles. 
What's this lover's energy? Everybody's here except for the Queen of Wands. The Justice card just kind of came out crossing. And who is this Queen of Swords? The Devil. Oof. The Devil, the Devil. <sighs> the Tower at the bottom of the deck. This masculine, this older male is is just ended something. Maybe even got a divorce with a toxic female. Remember we saw Ice Queen divorce mother. They could have children with this person. This person is extremely toxic. Extremely toxic. Okay. This person is no longer giving to that situation. Whatever they had planned with this person, they, they have aborted that plan. They have aborted that plan. The tower. This this queen of swords is really uh, getting ready to cause, wreak havoc. I feel like this person is, does not want to see this person move on. They don't. Wow. Oof. Okay. Anything we do anything else we need to know about this mature man? The page of pentacles. They're getting ready to make an offer like I said to you. I really feel like they're getting ready to take an offer somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Who are they getting ready to make this page of, give this page of pentacles to? The tower to a Scorpio, uh, temperance, Sagittarius. Clarify this page of pentacles. Three of wands in reverse. This masculine could have found out that a child was not theirs from this queen of swords. <sighs> This could also be the case. I'm just saying. Mm. What does this have to do with the divine feminine here? What does this have to do with the empress? What does this have to do with the empress? Judgment. What does this have to do with the empress? Three of pentacles. What does this have to do with the empress? The king of cups. I feel like, and then temperance on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this is Scorpio, Capricorn, Cancer energy here with Judgment, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. What this has to do with you is either this is your good karma, Judgment was called on somebody, and now this King of Cups wants to work with you. The Judgment is, is that this masculine is cutting this, this Queen of Swords off, and they're bringing this Three of Pentacles to you. Yeah. This King of Cups is pouring out, like pouring liquid out, right? That stands for emotions, that water. They're pouring out this water, which is what they gave this, this emotion that they gave this Queen of Swords. They no longer have emotion for this Queen of Swords. They're trying to come towards you and work on something and build with you, apparently. Somebody's getting ready maybe to communicate here. Man, I don't, this, there's a lot going on in this reading, but pretty detailed. So show me this King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Clarify the King of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords. King of Cups. <sighs> the Ace of Swords. There is a lot of drama and conflict here. This masculine had to go through a lot of drama and conflict to free themselves from a situation or free themselves from this queen of swords and this devil energy female. Hmm. Whatever it is, I feel like they won a battle. But this was like a very tiring battle with this five of swords. It's like, yep, I won. Who... Who is this in this Five of Swords energy? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. 
and the sun. Something was revealed. It's like somebody's plan didn't work and it was revealed to this King of Cups. Hmm. Somebody really carefully thought out a plan, but I just feel like it, the plan didn't work. This, some of this definitely could have something to do with the child. Who is the sun energy here? And this eight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody who lost. Like I said, this came out crossing. Somebody lost a battle. They're tired. I'm telling you, this was this wore this masculine out. This whole situation wore this masculine out. But I feel like this this Queen of Swords with the Devil energy also like they also lost too. This masculine may have lost some money here, or they may have paid money and invested money into a situation that involved a child that may not have been theirs. <sighs> Knight of Wands energy. See what I'm saying? And the Eight of Cups and the Death card. There's no more love left in something here. There's no love here. Somebody's finding out there's no love here in this situation and something is over. Hmm. It's Knight of Wands energy. Who is this? Show me more about this Queen of Swords and this Devil energy. Yeah. This could have been somebody they're freeing themselves from that they were married to. We got the hair front on the bottom of the deck. So this was this person's, um, this masculine was attached to this in some form of contract with this feminine. They tried to keep this masculine stuck, but this masculine is freeing themselves. Ace of Cups. Show me more about this Ace of Cups and the Fool. Somebody, yeah, is walking away. Page of Wands. Somebody's walking away. They're ready to go somewhere and take a leap of faith. Or you know what? This person may have also, too, uh, taken a leap of faith with this person and, you know, it didn't work out the way that they thought it would. This person is not who they said they were. <sighs> oh, my, 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 my. I, that was a really, really long reading here. I don't... I feel like this doesn't have anything to do with you, <laughs> but apply it where it fits. Let's get a couple more energy out here. Karmics, third party haters and lesson learned. Yeah, definitely some lessons learned here for sure. But, but the point is here, somebody's in this energy of walking away, six of swords. They've learned all they wanted. They feel like they don't need to learn anymore. You know, show me more about this energy. You have a lot of abundance coming in. I don't know what's going on with you, Divine Feminine, but keep a, a positive mindset because I feel like you're manifesting some, some blessing when it comes to money or an opportunity. Make sure you stay grounded and stable because there's a lot of growth coming in. So pay attention to your mindset, the things that you do. Pay attention to how you feel. Um, I feel like I don't know who this is that is lacking confidence or afraid, but there's no need for you to be afraid or to lack confidence. There's something coming in here. These karmics may be feeling like they're not enough because you're moving on. You're in this stable, grounded energy here and you're getting blessed. And it's making these karmics feel like they're not enough. Look, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody wants to talk. Somebody's getting ready to express themselves to you. Hmm. Let's see. Healing, self-care, introspection, and meditation. That's you in that Empress and Ace of Cups energy that we talked about earlier. Show me more here. There's an old ex still clinging and holding on to you. Okay. And I feel like this masculine, this older, mature masculine, is uh, has somebody that's still holding on to them too, and they're toxic. OK, um, but I feel like you're healing and releasing old relationships or you're doing your best to do that or let go of your old ways and your old toxic exes. Like whatever relationship is dead to you, I feel like divine feminine, you want to continue to keep that in the past. Show me more here. 
teddy bear. There is somebody, you have a secret admirer interested in you. Then we have drowning over your head, over extending and rock bottom. What's this drowning? Separation. So whoever you're separated from and you're not currently talking to, somebody's upset with you. They're bitter. They're mad. They're missing you. And they feel like you've moved on and you cut ties with them and you're progressing with your life and you're moving on. You, and I said, somebody's in the Six of Swords energy. I feel like you're definitely in the Six of Swords energy and this masculine is too. So the both of y'all may have these karmics and you're healing. Um, but, you know, and now you're trying to do everything. Ooh, look at this. The dragonfly, lighthearted, adapt, finding out change, things coming to light and heal. Then we have engagement ring, higher commitment, e eternity, partnership, and union and completion. Just people are just, somebody's not going to be happy with this. Just know that. Just know somebody's not going to be happy with this. Okay. Hiding their true, true feelings, burnt bridges. Yeah. The people from the past, I don't think you want to talk to them because you really legit feel like this is over with coffin cup. I mean, I'm sorry, coffin. Um, new beginnings only, right? Tragic endings and coffee cup. Somebody wants to talk to you, but I feel like these people that wore these masks and that were gaslighting you and were, had you betrayed you, um, they burned these bridges. They can't come back. They were disloyal. You don't trust them anymore. You know, um, they were wearing a mask. You're not going to take these people back, but I feel like they're going to be hurt. Somebody's going to be hurt. At least two people are going to be hurt. Definitely somebody from your past and definitely this feminine from this mature man's past. So keep that in mind. I don't, I'll see you guys later. That was a long reading, but very detailed. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if anything resonated for you. If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Bye.